welcome back so today we're delving a little bit further into my capsule wardrobe no rules mini series if you haven't seen the first video it will be linked down below so really the first step of a capsule wardrobe is to declutter your wardrobe that's what they say to do but these are our rules we do what we want for me decluttering is something that's going to be useful to me and i will delve into that a little bit as the video goes on for me, decluttering my wardrobe is going to be a really useful thing. No one could accuse me of being a minimalist. I can't even say the word minimalist. But kind of with my wardrobe, I am. You think as someone who sews all the time that I'd have an abundance of clothes, especially as I'm on YouTube sewing things up to show you guys. But in my case, it's just not true. The rail that you see behind me just there is all of the clothes I wear now I do have another box elsewhere with some other things that I made earlier in the year that I no longer wear but they're away and I don't use them everything I wear is on this rail and later on in the video I will be going through the rail and showing you what I've got what I want to keep for the capsule wardrobe and what I want to donate or get rid of because it's not working for me because that's really going to help me assess the things that I need to make for my capsule wardrobe moving forward. So in order to declutter our wardrobe it can be quite a big job and it's not always just a case of I'm going to take this out, I'm going to keep this etc. That's quite a dispassionate way of looking at it and that can be a method that you use depending on your personality. Before we go down that road of chucking things here and there, I think we really need to assess what clothes are, what their meaning are and what role they play in our lives. So objectively speaking, clothes are just cloth that cover our body so we're not walking around naked, are we? And that is in its main well it is but it's not really is it let's be honest so as individuals we do attach meaning to the clothes we wear not just the clothes we wear but the clothes that other people wear on their bodies it can affect our self-worth our self-esteem it's a label for ourselves it gives other people lots of information about us and therefore people do judge us on the clothes that we wear so actually for some wearing clothes can be a statement and for others it's just a necessity to clothe our bodies for me personally and i'm not sure if you're going to be able to relate to this i think you probably can but for me clothes have a double-edged sword growing up i was never really taught to be into fashion or anything like that i was it was just never made a thing to even think about my clothes. Now, I think that kind of had a negative effect because then I literally didn't care what I was wearing. I was just happy in what I was wearing. Um, and I do think some level of caring about that would have been helpful to me. So whether you were like me and you really didn't care about what you wore or you're at the other end of the spectrum and you really cared about what you wore, I think that clothing is an actual label for us not just for us but for other people as well it's it tells us a million things because you could dress super smartly you could dress casually and however you dress it gives off a different impression to outsiders about us whether we like it or not I think that not only clothes are a message to the outside world about us they also are a reflection of how we feel about our personality. It's not just about how we feel, it's about who we are as people. In my everyday life, I wear relaxed clothes because I'm at home all day. I work from home, so I don't go to an office. I don't have a need for that kind of clothing. And I am a very, I'm a magpie to comfy clothes, as you'll see in my rail in a bit. And so that is what I gravitate towards. But they're a really important tool as well because they reflect our individualism. It's like if you look at school kids in a school, they're all in the same uniform. You cannot tell them apart. They don't, on first glance, certainly they don't have individual personalities. And that's where wearing your own clothes can really give you that personality. 
so whether you've got someone who dresses casual like me or you've got a goth maybe or you've got someone who dresses smart casual someone who wears a suit and tie every day um, or a blazer if you're a woman these all tell us very different things and allow us to express who we are as people and i think that is so so important people always say you know that sewing isn't an important thing but i really think it is because well not only if the world goes kaput and let's face it there's a good chance of that we still will know how to cover ourselves and we'll be able to help other people do that and also there is so much power in what we wear and the way we express ourselves i believe that all people are creative we're born creative and we need to express that creativity i certainly suppressed mine for the longest time and i feel a more fulfilled person now i am able to do that have a fresh look at your wardrobe if you're doing this capsule wardrobe do have a fresh look at your wardrobe and assess it critically do these clothes represent me do i enjoy wearing them are they who i am do i go for them do I pick them out of the wardrobe to wear again and again and again? If you don't pick them out and you don't wear them frequently or you don't feel they really are your thing, then that is a big red flag. And those clothes need to go. Go, I tell you, go. They need to go. And I am going to be fairly brutal with mine. At the end of this capsule wardrobe, I want to have a wardrobe that is really going to reflect who I am is going to make me happy I want to look at my rail and be really happy with what I got and have a choice of things to put on even though a capsule wardrobe is essentially a small amount of items it can be a large amount of items it depends what you want to do how you want to do yours but it creates lots of different outfits because you mix and match things and that's what I really want I want to be able to have a good amount of choice in what I'm wearing even though I've got a fair few items there I don't have much choice because they're not really things that I go for in a lot of cases so moving forward what I want to do is I want to make clothes that I'm going to reach for that I feel really confident in that I want to wear and that reflect who I am as a person above all else what i want in my clothes is when i'm wearing it to not even be thinking about the clothes that i'm wearing do you know when you when you're wearing something that is not really perfect for you you're always like thinking oh i've got to pull that up or i've got to do this i've got to do that and it's kind of it gets old really quickly and i've got clothes like that that i really absolutely love but they just there's something about them when I'm wearing them and I don't wear them so above all else I need that but I want to look smart casual I don't want to just look like I've rolled out of bed even though I have most of the time so shall we stop rambling and have a look what's in my thing just add a warning these clothes are not ironed that's not who I am um this isn't going to be your typical capsule wardrobe walkthrough this is going to be real life capsule wardrobe walkthrough it's not capsule wardrobe it's just mission match um but i need to go through deconstruct what i've got decide what i'm getting rid of and what i've got room for more of in order to move forward with my capsule wardrobe right let's start off with what i'm wearing this is hot off the table i made this yesterday this is an adrienne by dib wine club i've made it for minerva this fabric was given to me um, and I'll put a cow on this time, that's something I haven't done before. Look at that detail on the side, I absolutely love that. Let's have a look at my wardrobe, shall we? Actually, it's going to be boring holding this stuff, isn't it? I'm going to try everything on. Things I do for you guys. So this is uh, La Bella Donna by Love Notions. Which you can see my bra through here. Please excuse that absolutely love this pattern but this fabric is girl charlie and it's such poor fabric this is gonna have to go or at least be pajamas so what i'm going to do here is on this side 
gonna keep anything I'm keeping for my capsule and on the chair everything that's gonna go so this is also a DIY Adrienne this was the first one I made you can see the side detail there sorry it's not ironed absolutely love this fabric but this fabric has gone really dull really quickly and I don't think it's going to fit in with my capsule so it is going to go this was a twirl so if people have asked me what I do with my twirls well if they're wearable then I wear them and use them so this was the 12 the AGN and I made this one was just made up as is and I liked it but it wasn't long enough I wanted a bit more length to it but overall yeah it's my Mickey Mouse top right, I want sure to get this one on and I'm struggling a little bit look at that this is my wedding dress and it's really crinkly and not ironed at all um, it's the Betty dress by so over it and I massively altered it to get it to fit me this was got married in 2016 so I made this about May of that year I just realized this is my flamenco dress no on to the next one then made this the other day this was the for the video that I traced so I'm going to keep it and it'll go in my capsule does need an iron though my pineapple dress someone took the mickey in the comments at me wearing pineapple so i absolutely love them this was my second antrim dress so i have a sew along and a review video on my channel for this really good fit i was a tester for this one now i do love this dress fits so well but it's cotton jersey Another one from Girl Charlie. Honestly, every fabric I have from Girl Charlie just doesn't really work out for me. It might work out for you, but it hasn't for me. The skirt is quite, you can see it's quite short already. I had to cut loads off of it. And even so, looks doesn't look too bad there. Right, for the next one, I don't actually need to take my dress off. You may remember a little while ago, I tested for a Sherpa vest. Well, it wasn't for a Sherpa vest. I used Sherpa because that was the fabric I had. I think traditionally they should suggest um, faux fur. It was the simplest thing to make. If you're a beginner and you want something really simple and it's the sort of thing you wear, make this up. Pattern down below. There's a video down below, but it's not me. It is just not me. This is a Sapporo coat by Paper Cut Patterns, I think. I've got a vlog about it, but as you can see, it doesn't fit me. It doesn't quite. Made this years and years ago, and I gave no thought to the fact of whether it would fit me. It's before I was even really making clothes for myself. These are the smallest pockets in the world, in the history of the world. I've been keeping this hanging around because it was expensive fabric I used. That's ex-designer Italian wool. It's so nice and I really don't want to get rid of it. I love it, but I'm not gonna wear it. Not like this. I suppose, and the sleeves are too short. I went over all this in my video about it. So, and I mean, I could wear a long sleeved top, so that'll be fine. But it's just, it doesn't close. Look, there's a lot of gap there. So, and I am planning on a weight loss program at the moment. I say I'm planning it. I'm trying to do it. And I'm really not doing that well right now. But I am trying. But then is it the right mindset to have to keep things just in case you might lose weight? I really wouldn't recommend that to anyone. And yet I'm doing it myself. So, it pains my heart to say. But I might actually donate this. So, look, we're looking a little bit thinner already. The clothes rail, not me. This one you've seen a, a fair bit and I've worn it quite a lot, especially in my videos. I think it looks quite snazzy. This was a hybrid make. I made it. It was my own envisioned make. The pattern was actually a raglan jumper and I transformed it into this lovely dress. So I am actually going to keep this and make this work with my capsule. 
Right, so this is one that I've never actually shown on my vlog. I did talk about this in my last podcast episode for my members. If you're not a member and you'd like to see that video, do click the join button down below to find out more. It's a free pattern from freesewing.org. It's actually a man's pattern, but because they asked you for your measurements, I figured just putting in my measurements in would work. But it's not a bad fit. I think they are very roomy. On the chest, which was the main issue, I think it's worked pretty well, but I don't like it. And I just wear it around the house. But it's gotta go. It's gotta go. This was made a couple of years ago. I think I've put on a bit since then. I absolutely love this fabric. If you watched my early vlogs, you would have seen me wearing this. And I mainly wore it because it looks so good on camera because it's so loud. The fabric's weird. It's like, it's almost like an Affy Leisure jersey fabric. It's supposed to be 100% cotton, organic cotton. The fabric was given to me by a company who wanted me to review it. This was years and years ago. Can't remember the name of the company now. If you go back in my videos long and long enough ago, you'll see me wearing this, and I will say in those videos the company's name. If there was ever a fabric that was my personality, this would be it. I'm going to donate this just because it's a little bit restrictive on me right now. And it doesn't really go with the capsule wardrobe that I've got in mind. I have already purchased my fabrics for the capsule wardrobe. And this doesn't really fit in with that. So it will be donated. So this one is my Harper cardigan by Sinclair Patterns. Oh, this top was the Shiona top. I don't know if I said it's the Shiona top by AK Patterns. This fabric was gifted by Minerva. I've only just put a blog post up on their website actually about this it's a little on the small side but because it's like a boyfriend style cardigan you can get away with it just having it open like that I went to great efforts for my pattern matching on the pockets there can you see I do love it it's a free pattern as well so do grab that and they now when I made it it only went up to a size 18 I think and I made the biggest size, which is why it's a little small for me. But they now go up to a size 30 with that pattern. So it is worth having a look if you're on the larger side. Or even if you're not. I'm going to keep this because it's a nice neutral colour. It's a cover up. It's a layer in piece. Exactly the sort of thing I need in my capsule wardrobe. So this will be a part of that. <laughs> So this next one is a me made but I can't wear it because it absolutely does not fit me. I think it's a size 16 or something. And that is this blouse. It's one of the first things I made before I was making clothes for myself. I was just randomly making any old size clothes just to make clothes. How pretty is that? It's a cotton lawn. Um, I've got a video about this. I will put that down below. Well, we do a bit of an autopsy of my make so do check that out it won't be part of my capsule so i think i am actually going to donate this next one is a pinafore this is a helen's closet what is it called winslow no they're culottes something pinafore i can't remember the name of it but i made this before she sized it up and then i kind of just sized it up myself well i didn't i didn't i didn't such an easy make if you're a beginner this is a great pattern it's a little bit snug now i swear i've put a bit of weight on recently but if you see down there i've inserted a different piece in a triangle so it's the same size there but down at the hip gives me more room which is a nice little trick you can do i don't ever ever reach for a pinafore i've got a couple and I'll never reach from the pocket. I love the pockets. Now this one I'm not going to wear. It's a little bit tight to get on and off. But it's my girty dress. 
made this three or four years ago with that girty dress that was doing the rounds. Uh, it's just like a gathered skirt on a cami bodice. I could put this aside and do this as a video. Might do a video with some of my early makes. I've only got a few left that were early, early, but I could do a video about that. Let me know if that's your thing. This is a Puna jacket by Helen's Closet. I used a fabric, this was a wearable twirl. Wow, these two fabrics go together, don't they? I like it, I think this is this fabric's a little bit too structured for this pattern. I think it needs something a bit more relaxed. But look how short that is. I know cropped is in, but or it was in a year ago. But no, it's actually quite smart. If I made it a little bit longer, it could be like a faux blazer. This is definitely a pattern I want to revisit. And I might revisit it as a coat, so make it really long to the knees. Keeping this, I haven't worn it since I made it. It's nice, but I don't feel comfortable or confident wearing it. I just doesn't feel right for me. This is the basic tank by Love Notions. This is a good make. I tested this pattern, but like I say, I don't. I'm not a fan of without sleeves. I like this fabric, but I used this fabric on another top which I mentioned earlier and it just, it's gone off colour like the other one has. I made this at the start of my channel. It's a free pattern from Peppermint Magazine. It's the ruffle blouse, I think, or top it's called. It's actually fitting me again. I did lose a load of weight and it was too big on me, but it's fitting me again, sadly. It's quite restrictive. This is a Helen's Closet Ashton, is it? That rings about this was a wearable twirl. See, I do have wearable twirls, but again, I'm not happy with my arms on show. This was also like a Christmas fabric. In theory, I absolutely love this dress. This is a girl Charlie fabric, and I love the design. I really do. It's the, I think of the name, my brain's gone now. Too much activity. Um, like the pineapple one, this is the same pattern as that. And I love it, but the fabric stretches out. But bear in mind that I've already cut this so it's straight again and worn it once since then. Look how unstraight that is. You can see that that goes up at an angle, even at the angle you're at. So this is a quite pretty. This fabric was so cheap. It's quite a good quality fabric. Um, this is a Shiona top. I absolutely love that fabric. But it's so slinky. It's like, you know that bright fabric I had where I said it's like Aculeisure? The cow design. I'm unsure about this. I mean, I might keep this, but it doesn't really go with my capsule. I'm supposed to be quite brutal in this. And it's not going, is it? I'm going to keep this one because I can wear this one. This was the wearable twirl for my black dress that I showed you earlier. The fabric feels really cheap, but it does sit very nicely on me. The fabric, the pattern isn't really me. This was another tank by Love Notions. This fabric was given to me by Anna. Over at You Got Me In Stitches. Very pretty fabric, very bright, very me. But again, no arms. I just can't cope with no arms. So this was a toile. It is, you can see my bra through this one. This is um, a laundry day tee after they'd resized the pattern, because I did a I did a sew along and another video, a review video. They both did really, really well. So after they resized, I remade it. And this was the twirl. Um, but it was, I don't know if you can see it, the arm's a little bit tight. It gathered around there. So I had to fix that for my next one. Probably keep this for pajamas, maybe. 
So this fabric, I've had this since I started sewing, so it's probably about seven years old now. And I made it up earlier this year, and this is, um, this is a Stylework cami top. And I've got a few fit issues with this. I might use this fabric to make some scrunchies or something, that would be quite good. I'm going for a scrunchie making thing at the moment. I'm not going to try this on. This is a laundry day tee that I made years and years ago. But it's one of those fabrics. Look at the hem on that. That has stretched out significantly. That was a straight hem. And it's because it's cotton jersey. But it's so comfortable to wear. Super, super easy to wear. So I wear this to bed. This is a ready to wear top. I've worn this a few times on video. It looks really good on video. I'm not trying it on now. I think I'm going to keep it actually. Actually, I will try it on because you need to see it. One of the few ready to wear that actually fits me quite nicely. And I think I might keep that because I've got some bottoms in mind to make for my capsule that I think it would go with. So, yeah, I think I'm going to keep this one. Also, I've got this. Which obviously don't go with this top. <laughs> It'd be a fashion choice for sure. Can you foresee this pattern clash is going to be the biggest trend of 2021? Walk down the catwalk. Mwah! That's really lovely. And my capsule wardrobe, you'll see, is going to have quite a bit of navy in it. And this has a navy background. So I will keep this. I'll keep both of these. This is a cashmere um, fuller cardigan. <sighs> And this was literally a scrap of fabric I had left. So it's quite nice. Got a video on this. If you want to check that out, I made, I think I made three of these. That looks like, from a distance on the camera, that looks like it's stretched out and you can see underneath it. But actually, it's not what's happened. That's little gold jewels on top. So I'm not going to keep that, I don't think. I told you I'm brutal with this. We're getting through this, it's called midnight now, but we're gonna do it. So I'm not gonna try this on, but this is another Stylewark cami. How empty my rail is getting now. This is exciting, because it means I can fit new clothes on here. So this was another La Bella Donna, but the top version of the dress. I think I'll keep this for around the house, but it's not necessarily something that I'll wear out. This was, oh look, built-in mask. This was a laundry day tee that I made probably 2017. I love the fabric, like the colour and pattern of the fabric. But it's well warm and it's very bobbly. So this is the Willow Wrap Top by Love Notions. I do love me a wrap top, it has good coverage. But the arms are a little bit tight, I should have made, should have done a full bicep adjustment on them really nice but I just don't like how it looks on me I don't know if it's a colour or something I just don't think it's the right colour for me um, so I'm not going to be keeping this so this is the same fabric as the last one but in a different colour way um, this is a laundry day tee I loved it and I've worn it to death but it's really misshapen now it's like gone all baggy and I had cover stitched it and all the cover stitch is coming away I've worn it so much I haven't worn it for a while. I do sometimes wear it in videos because it really shows up quite nicely. It's a nice contrast. But yellow's not what I'm going for this season. So we're going to say bye to this as well. I will have no clothes left at this rate. This cat here. I've got to really stroke him loads because otherwise he'll bite me. Because he's hungry. Say hello to the camera, friend. So this was a twelve for hemlock tea, but this fabric is rubbish. I paid like about a pound a meter for this. I actually went on to make the hemlock tea in a stripy one. Let me just get it. It's not on my rail. But this is the next hemlock tea I made. And you can see that was my twelve. I think I might have sized down one size. And it looks much, much better. This fabric was high quality fabric as well, though it has faded a bit since I've been washing it. You probably saw this on social media, because when I released my tracing video, this was the 
top that I traced off. This one is inside out, but this is the traced off one from this. I've got a video about this below, but it is a free pattern, the Hemlock Tea by Grain Line. And I didn't have enough fabric, so I created that stripe down the middle. Otherwise the fabric would have been wasted, so I think it worked quite well, don't you? I've got another fuller cardigan here. This was another remnant from my Harper cardigan. You see, I've got the Harper cardigan there. <laughs> it's the same fabric. I'm losing my will here, people. My energy is super low. It has gone midnight. It's now Sunday, and I need to get this video up for Sunday evening. I honestly don't know if it's going to happen because my fatigue levels and I'm sleeping all day at the moment hence why I'm doing this in the dark well not in the dark but at night my sleep pattern's upside down at the moment I've got something called non-24 sleep rhythm circadian rhythm thing when I sleep goes up right around the clock and at the moment it is I slept from 10 a.m to 6 p.m today by the end of the week I'll be back on normal time and I can film in the daytime again but needs must I've got a skirt here which was in a funky fish fabric. This was the Ravina skirt. No, this wasn't the Ravina skirt. Oh dear God. Um, I can't remember the name of this. Put it on screen. I've got a video for it. But this was a super simple skirt from Love Notions. This would be a really good pattern for a denim skirt actually. If I had any denim I would have used that. Ultimately, I don't like my legs on show, and so I don't feel comfortable wearing that. But here's another version of that same skirt I made in a batik fabric, which you can see the buttons a little bit better there. I want to get away from the wacky fabrics because although it's fun, I just end up having nothing to wear with it. Um, and when I had to do the tester photos for these, I just felt ridiculous because I didn't have a top that goes with it because a lot of my tops are not plain. This is a wrap skirt. It is. It's the Fior wrap skirt by Closet Core. I tested this pattern and I like it. I can put this on because it's so easy. It's literally just got cam snaps holding it together. It's really nice and it's actually really smart as well but I like it but the back rides up because I've got a big booty it's just one piece this is a real beginner pattern it really is yuck 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 this one oh my god I hate I hate 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 this one well laundry day tea that's now PJs it's the same fabric I ended up getting like five meters because it was about a pound a meter um, and I just was doing a test, just used the fabrics I had to hand. I mean, it doesn't look bad, it's a maxi skirt. You know, if you had the right top, it might work. These are the Pietra pants, which I've never actually shown on my channel. I made these for a test as well. I've done all the tests, I really have. A flat front with lovely in front pockets, which I love. And then in the front, <laughs> Rather than have a waistband, you've got a face sitting in there. And considering they were a test, they fit really, really well. God, they look huge. They fit really, really well on. They needed a couple of adjustments. I think the back seat of my bum wasn't on the pattern. It wasn't long enough. And so there was a bit of gaping at the back. But apart from that, they fitted almost perfectly. You know... It is a pattern I want to revisit for sure and that's why I didn't do a video about these because I wanted to make another pattern before I did. Another version I should say. My snazzy, these are inside out, let's put them in the right way. These are my free range slacks by So House 7. I love these, I'm going to wear them as pyjamas because the fabric is like a cotton lawn, real like comfy an attempted pattern matching at the front. There's a seam there. You can, as it's trousers, you can't have complete pattern matching. But I think I did a pretty good job there. 
got some fab red fabric here. It's wool fabric that Minerva gave me, but I'm not going to be able to make a coat in the time frame they want, so that's going to be getting sent back to them. Uh, I've just got one left. This is a top I made from the Zadie jumpsuit. I'd made the um, Zadie jumpsuit, really wasn't happy with it, so but I like the top. But it, it's too low, it needs a popper there. And it don't fit me on the hips anymore, and the arms are too tight. So this is gonna have to go, in theory I quite like this, but I'd put a fuller bottom part on it next time. As you can see there, that's what I've got left. So, don't worry about that. All my wedding dress. So I've just got these pieces here. So I've got the top I've just made. Got my black dress. I've got black cardigan, another black cardigan. A navy um, tank top. That just because I really don't want to let it go because I do like it and I can wear it. A black tank top, a kimono type cover up, that ready to wear one. My traced top and my cardigan, my Harper cardigan. So that's all the pieces that I will be keeping to go towards my capture wardrobe. Everything else that I've spoken about is either gonna be pajamas, gonna be donated or put in the recycling. I feel a lot clearer of mind now I've gone through that because I, that tells me what I need to make. And what I need to make is a fair amount, let's face it. So I've got fabrics and I've got some patterns in mind. I'm gonna go away now and really assess what I need, what fabrics I have, and what patterns I'm going to use to make that. Basically, because I'm only keeping a few bits, what I can make, or what I'm gonna allow myself to make, because remember, these are our rules, our own rules, is wide open. And so, for the critics who say that a capsule wardrobe is too restrictive, it absolutely isn't. I don't buy that at all. Um, it can be as restrictive or unrestrictive as you like. I want some base colours, so I want some grey, some neutral, some off-white. I do have a couple in my fabric stash that I'm going to show you. In the next video, I'll be discussing colours, textures, styles that I like, and going through and doing a pattern match with some patterns. Hopefully that will give you some inspiration. I hope you're following along with the capsule wardrobe with me. Let me know how your decluttering goes. If you do a declutter, remember they're your rules, not mine. So you decide what you need to do. In my first capsule wardrobe video, which will be linked down below, there is a link to a download, which is kind of like a rough guide to help you through your process of deciding what rules you want and don't want want within your capsule so do download that and then come back I'm hoping for Wednesday will be the next one I hope you enjoyed this and it was fun to watch I hope I edited it to be a little bit more exciting than it is and I will see you in the next one like subscribe all the things buy me a coffee if you like what I'm doing and I will catch you soon happy sewing bye for now